The sun is setting here in Riga, and we are set for our semi-finals. Four drivers remain from 48 that started this weekend. Three are Irish, one is Polish, and there's three steps on the podium. Not only is the championship points very much on the line for Dwayne McKeever and for James Dean on either sides, the King of Riga crown is also on the line. The only one of the four that's ever worn it is James Dean. The other three, well, they've had to play the prince. And here we go. Dwayne McKeever in the lead position. Higher qualifier ahead of Connor Shannon. McKeever and Shannon. And Shannon comes in as the defending champion. McKeever wants to be the champion. Well, in order to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And that's what McKeever's got to do now. He's got to take down Connor Shannon. But Connor Shannon has had a, a rotten year by his standards. He wants to be King of Riga. He wants to get back up on the podium. And here we go. And here we go. Look at this. Shannon is thrown to the back bumper at 180SX. And Dwayne McKeever as he fires into that first outside side. No separation this time. This was ridiculous driving. McKeever took the punt and just said, that's grand, let's go. Didn't, I mean, there was a moment there where Dwayne McKeever could have spun that car. Easily. And easily won this battle and he stayed in it honest. Because that was a heavy hit from Shannon. It was a real punt. A real oh. punt. The crowd are going bananas. We're going bananas. I might even need a banana at the end of this for a bit of energy because I'll tell you what, we have poured our souls into this this weekend from fans to drivers to teams, all in the name of bettering the sport. And boy, are these guys delivering. Look at this. Beautiful stuff from Shanahan in the chase. Incredible lead line from Dwayne McKeever as well. You got handed to him. That was so textbook. You know, and it, it was exactly what the judges want to see. Look at that. Bam. Takes the back bumper off. It's just a little rub. And then here for me, McKeever comes down, handbrakes. Shanahan just gives him a little nudge. But it's where he nudges him. He nudges him in the middle of the transition. So it could have gone so wrong, but McKeever just adapted and went and they're still in it. And this is in the balance. Now McKeever is going to be asked a big question here. Big question. Can you go closer? Can you go closer? Because Dwayne McKeever is a great lead driver and he's a great competitor, but he's got to go all out now. He's got to try and take down the 2023 champion. McKeever's not stepped on the top step of the podium this year. And if he has to, he's got to go for Shannon here on the inside. Goes McKeever, dropping out of the zone 11, but he stays on the back. Of a big transition for the drivers. They fire through the center of the section faster than anybody. So McKeever gets it all. McKeever's in the wall. McKeever's in the wall, and it all goes wrong in an instant for the driver from Northern Ireland. Shannon's going to see that dead square through the windscreen now. McKeever buried in the wall. He's going to go over and check on his fellow countrymen because that was a big hit. And he just sits there, dejected, of course. Get another angle of it here. Yeah, he just gets pinched on the inside, just stays in it too long. Yeah. Oh, big hit from McKeever. And that rear wheel's completely yeah. broken off. That said, the momentum looked to have spread around that 180, so yeah. maybe no major chassis damage. But Connor Shannon, I mean, he's been through the wars today, Connor Shannon, and it looks like he could very well go to the final. And it is official. Connor Shannon is a guaranteed podium in Riga as he gets back to business after a poor first three rounds. By his standard, he is back in the final. So there we go. We go back down to the back end of the circuit. We can see Pavel Korpolinski warming up the tyres on the back of that S14. Eh? He pulls alongside a man. They're ready to go here. Who wants another podium? Well, Dean is one battle away from history. 13 podiums in a row. Could be this year's King of Riga, but you'd have to beat Connor Shannon. But I'm going to tell you right now, Pavel Korpolinski is not going to put this anywhere else other than a fight. No, he's not. He's going to come out swinging here, but the people that have been coming out swinging seem to be the guys that sometimes don't make it through. Absolutely. Well, James Dean puts the car into gear. He's the higher qualifier. He's going to be in the lead position. He's been to the final many times here in Riga before. But Korpelinski, well, what a name he could make for himself here if he takes down Dean in the semi-final. We know Connor Shannon's in the final. Who will join him? We're about to find out. Two runs of the fastest track of the year will decide it. As Dean fires in, and look at Korpelinski all over. Oh, he's absolutely good to him. Through the transition, through the smoky gun. Korpelinski not letting James Dean get away. Dean shallow on the White to the curb, Korbelinski still there. Dean can't shake the Polish driver as Korbelinski takes a chunk out the side, takes a bite out of James Dean's door. Oh, hold the fuck.
Stone. Wow. Pavel. Where has he been all day? Korpelinski. What, what time is it? Dinner time? What did he have for dinner? He, I, don't, I don't think he's eaten. He's, he's rushing around yeah. trying to get some food. I'll tell you what. He threw... I'm gonna, oh, look at this. And he's trying to push James Dean back up the track. I'm going to analyze this one for you. Dean, great initiation. But Korpelinski is all over him on the initiation. And watch this uncharacteristic mistake, I think, from James Dean. Missing yeah. outer zone four. Transitions back as they come through. Look at Korpelinski right there. Dean goes to the edge track. This is an interesting one. Gets the inner zone. And watch Dean's rear wheels. Misses the outer zone. And Korpelinski fires down the inside on shallow angle. Transitions. Dean good again here. And as they transition back, Korpelinski takes his moment. Does an over jump there. No. Calculated. And then gets up on the door. Look at this. Forces the issue towards the end. Right with James Dean as they come through that last section. Korpelinski not wanting to throw it away because he knows how consistent Dean is. He knows he doesn't make many errors. But I'll tell you what. Dean made one. Which was an outer zone. And I'll tell you what. Korpelinski maybe doesn't have the X factor in that one. But he didn't make any errors either. I think that was calculated for Korpelinski. You think he played it safe? I think he. I didn't. Think, I don't think he played oh, it safe. I think how he safe was, can you yeah, be? I was just going to say. <laughs> I don't think he played it safe. What I'm saying is, I think he was clever. I'm, I'm telling you now, he James Dean is under pressure. He is going to have to put in the chase run of his lifetime because Korpelinski's lead run is spot on. We'll see what happens. Hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking for a finalist here as Korpelinski fires in at Dean's right there. Oh, a little wobble from Dean in the chase position as he goes into that. Korpelinski pushes out to this, and now Dean's got to get the work done. He's on. Transition to Korpelinski goes on too much angle and throws it all away. Korpelinski throws it all away and hits the tires. Well, you just can't take your eyes off it for a second. Oh, my goodness. I genuinely thought that uh, was going to go the other way. I thought that was his. I'm sitting here and you're, you're calling it. I'm thinking, this is his. Look at the line. He's deep on four. He's got a perfect oh, lead line. Oh, my goodness. And Dean is like, oh, well, that'll do. James Dean is long enough in the game now to know exactly what's about to happen next because he saw Korpelinski fire off the track. And up until then, I'm not so sure. But then again, it doesn't matter what happens, only in the end what happens and the result, right? And the result is you cannot be backwards in the tyres and win the, win the battle. Oh, what a day in Riga. I think we should stop coming here. It's too much for my heart. <laughs> we need to get to safer tracks, slower tracks. Oh, James Dean gets out and you can see Pavel Korpelinski. It's like, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. I went way off the track. I'm so sorry. Um, up until here, I was kind of going, do you know what? And then the transition, all of a sudden here, he goes on too much angle. And I go, no, this doesn't look right. And he's way too wide. Oh, my goodness. Four wheels off the ground, bounces up over the curbs. And then he's like, oh, no. Boom, into the door. And I'll tell you what. That would have been a heavy enough hit. It's a good job he sits on the other side of the Look car. Look at this. Welcome to Rallycross. <laughs> we've there's, seen it, spark, we've, there's sparks, <laughs> there's jumps. We've there's... definitely seen it all today. Definitely. This you, has been the wildest yeah, I, round. You know, Look at this. He's just through the garage. Dean in the background, just like, do, 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 do. And he's just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Look at Koblinski. You can see the tires coming. He's bracing for it. He's already ready. I lo just love Dean in the background, just so undisturbed by the car carnage going up in the foreground. Oh, that's a big hit as well. There's your shot of the day. Dean's like, I'm just going to keep going. Oh, well, I think we're going to see it. And it is a guaranteed podium for James Dean. 13 in a row. I'm going to make it official because Dean is going to the final. And I tell you what, he's also going to. Could be second in the championship. Could be hungry. Could be right on for winning. He's on for winning, maybe. Formula Drift and Drift Masters in the one year. Well, here we are. 48 drivers started this epic event. Two remain, and both are previous European champions. One, the current 
and reigning 2023 champion in Connor Shannon. He goes up against his neighbor, the winningest and most successful driver in the history of drifting. And now Dean can smell another championship if he gets the points here. Dean will be all smiles with Connor Shanahan, but I'll tell you what, they know how good each other are. They know the talent that's sitting beside their door right now, and all it takes is two runs. Who will be your 2024 King of Riga? Here we go. Dean to lead out Shanahan as they fire through. Look at this, Dean on it, absolutely glued to the outside line, but Shanahan so far on the inside. You can barely see that GT6. Now Shanahan transitions, puts it into the pocket. Dean on a flyer of a lead line, dials it in for outside zone five. ridiculous driving that is absolutely ridiculous perfect in the lead perfect, perfect in, in the, the chase. chase oh there are no words for how good this sport has got over the years and these two pioneers of it are now showing why you sit there and wait for these finals because sometimes they don't deliver but boy is this one delivering shannon threw the kitchen sink at dean on that first corner you couldn't even see shanahan on the transition at one point oh and he tagged the back end of dean's car on the transition you couldn't even see him he was that close dean's got that that line dialed they fired through and shanahan was just timing those transitions absolutely perfectly this for me, look at it, a little I mean, stall up from Shanahan, but then he was back into it. And he well, was I think it's the, the part of the track that everyone's throwing it away, yeah. so it's worth the little stall up if you can get it back on the door, and he did. Oh, and he's just flirting with the side of Dean's car. Look at that, big clutch kicks, on off the throttle, dials on the angle, textbook. What does Dean do now? And I'm telling you right now, a safe, calculated James Dean run is not going to win this. No, he isn't. This is going to have to be everything he's got. As Shannon comes off the line, it's the last run of the weekend. Shannon's laser focus. Dean is coming for blood as they fire in at 100. Again, Dean is on the inside of the track, but he's got proximity. This is where it could all unravel as Shannon goes to the wide side of the track. Dean is up on the curb. Shannon puts big angle on Dean. Oh, oh barely holds on to it. Dean makes a big error, but he stays in. How are they both going at this point? It doesn't even make physical sense in their door to door. event with the craziness that we started oh my goodness and that's the first time we've seen James Dean make a mistake all weekend that first corner he went very shallow behind very Shannon. Very shallow. And then it slingshotted him. It carried the angle and slingshotted him. That momentum put him way on the wrong position. I can't wait to see the replay of this. And here we go. Shanahan is glued to the outside zone. The transition from Dean was textbook, but he was out of that zone. And now look at the line he takes. Watch as Dean comes through. Shanahan is absolutely flying, but look at Dean. He has to carry more angle. He's going to make contact with I Shanahan. Think, I think he hits the curb. I think the rear wheel just touches it the does. curb. Yeah, he has to dial on the angle because otherwise he's going to hit Connor. That's the problem. But he knows he's coming in so hot. He's like, ah, I've got to get out of it. He's up on the curb. Down he comes. And there we go. That opens the door for Shanahan. He starts to pull away. Edge of your seat stuff. Look at that. Yeah, look at yeah, Dean. Dean there goes he way is. up on the curb, and that's the mistake. Is it enough to cost him the final? If, and is it enough to put Connor Shanahan back on the top step of the podium? And if Connor Shanahan wins this, it means it'll be a Shanahan, Shanahan, King of Riga, King of Riga, year by year. But even if he doesn't win, James Dean will still have done 13, 13 podiums, podiums in a row. So is there a winner? Is there a loser? Who knows? I mean, there's definitely going to be a winner and a loser, but oh, yeah. in the grand scheme of things, Dean has got the championship points. Connor Shannon gets back on form, which he said he's been struggling to do this year. But he's definitely found his form today. And look what it means to Connor Shanahan in the car. Here we go. Decision starts to drop in. Both guys smiling. Yeah, big Both smiles all around. I think Dean's done what he wanted to do. It was get the championship points and get himself that 13th podium in a row. And Connor Shannon said he hasn't been able to prove himself in Europe this year. Well, as he proved himself today, will Jack Shannon take it last year and Connor Shannon take it this year? We don't know, but we're leaning that way because we've watched what you guys watched and we're, yeah. we're feeling it here in the tower that that might be the way it goes. He's on a straight car in the paddock right now after this weekend. And the 2024 King of Riga is... Yeah. Connor 
Connor Shannon. Connor Shannon is 2024 King of Riga. After a disastrous three rounds defending his championship, he's back on top step at the podium, and the championship fight is blown wide open.